This is a software-defined radio. This is also a software-defined radio. And believe it or not, this is also a software-defined radio. This here is a software-defined radio. This is another software-defined radio. And this is also a software-defined radio. And those are just some of the software-defined radios that I have here and that I use to scan through local frequencies. So why do I have so many software-defined radios and why are there so many different types? They all have different types of specifications, frequency ranges, and even the bandwidth that they can operate in. And on top of that, they all have different price points. But the magic really happens on how you use them. You see, because these are software-defined radios and they don't care what it is you are trying to listen to. They're simply the gateway between your computer and the RF environment. So you can use these to listen to P25, DMR, NXDN, you can receive slow scan TV, FM, AM, you can decode POGSEG, you can receive APRS, you can track airplanes, you can receive upper and lower sideband or CW, WeFax, FT8. The sky is really the limit here because it's the software in software defined radio that dictates what you're going to be able to listen to or how you're going to use this SDR. And the beauty here is that the platform that you put this radio on, there is software out there for almost anything, including PC, Mac, Raspberry Pi, and even Android devices. They all have software or applications to interface with these software-defined receivers. Coming up shortly, we'll be showcasing some more software-defined radios, the software, the applications, right here on this channel. So make sure you follow us and leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite application or software is or what you're using an SDR for if you are using a software-defined radio. And you haven't yet started to explore the world of software-defined radios. I have a free course to get you up and running in just a couple hours. So you could spend a Saturday morning and by lunchtime, you'll be up and running with your first application and a software-defined radio. If you're interested in that, I have a link to this free course in the description and also in my bio. So go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think. If you're using a software-defined radio now or you have a question about software-defined radios, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them shortly.